Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this quick video, I just want to let you know about a huge chat GPT update that was just announced by OpenAI today, Monday, April 1st, as I'm on the official press release right here on their website. And I will leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. But what this update is, is that ChatGPT is now available to the public without the need for signing into an account. As you'll see down here, I am not logged in. It's prompting me to log in or sign up, but you can still use ChatGPT now without, the, without being signed into an OpenAI account. Whereas previously, you must have had an account in order to use ChatGPT. Now, I will say this is only the free version of ChatGPT, which is GPT 3.5. You will not get access to GPT 4. This is just 3.5, which guys, I've stated multiple times on my channel that there are better options than ChatGPT 3.5. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But if I come back to the press release, uh, OpenAI doesn't really say much here, to be honest, just a couple paragraphs and then some screenshots here. Um, but they say it's our core mission to make tools like ChatGPT broadly available so that people can experience the benefits of AI. More than 100 million people across 185 countries use ChatGPT weekly to learn something new, yada, yada, yada. And it says starting today, you can use ChatGPT instantly without needing to sign up. We're rolling this out gradually with the aim to make AI accessible for anyone curious about its capabilities. So it may not be available to everyone in every country yet, but I have access to it. I know many other people I follow have access to it. Um, so this is a big deal. And why is this a big deal? Well, if I hop over to my Twitter or X account, whatever you call it these days, OpenAI posted about this announcement. And as I was reading through some of these comments here, one person in particular, as I can't find it right now, made the point that this is a big deal in terms of SEO. So think about how people are using ChatGPT as a search engine versus traditional Google search, where the hurdle was you had to be signed into an OpenAI account in order to use ChatGPT. But now that you don't have to be signed in, we may see a shift of more people using ChatGPT to find real-time information through search engines, which by the way, guys, is not a good idea. If you're using the free version of ChatGPT, which is 3.5, its knowledge date cuts off, I believe at January, 2022. So if I click new chat, I'm gonna say, um, what is the price of Bitcoin? And I ask it something simple like this, it's gonna say, I can't provide real-time information as my data is not up to date. So guys, again, do if you're trying to use ChatGPT like a search engine, I would highly suggest you avoid doing that. Now, here are some alternatives I would use instead of the free version of ChatGPT regardless. And I have a full video and I'll leave a link to that in the video description below where I talk about each of these in more detail. But Microsoft Copilot is much better than the free version of ChatGPT, copilot.microsoft.com. You can use Dolly 3 for free. It has real-time integration with Bing search results. And I believe it is using the GPT-4 language model, probably mixed with 3.5 in its results, um, but a much better free AI chatbot than the free version of ChatGPT. And guys, also Claude 3 is another free alternative to ChatGPT that I would suggest you explore. You will not get Claude 3 Opus, which is what you get in the premium version as I'm showing here, but you do get Claude 3 Sonnet, which is better than GPT 3.5 across the board in many areas. Um, but that's it, guys. Just wanted to bring you this quick video letting you know about this major chat GPT update where you now no longer have to be signed into an account with OpenAI to use chat GPT. So the last thing I want to mention, guys, if you haven't already gotten my free guide on the best AI side hustles in 2024, you can find this in the video description or pinned comment below. And again, in this guide, I outline some of my favorite AI side hustles that I have used to generate more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. So again, you can find that below this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel at AI Insider Tips, I would appreciate you doing so as I'll continue to bring you these free videos on the latest AI news, tutorials, tips and tricks, and everything else to help you navigate the complex world of artificial intelligence. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you all watching this video and I hope you all have a great day.